See, I've watched videos and I've been hearing how feared Wayne Perry was out in D.C., how feared Haitian Jack was out in New York, how feared Stanley Tookie Williams was out in L.A. But in my honest opinion, none of these guys were even half of what the 5'11", 200-pound Ronald Harvey from Temple 12 Philly Black Mafia organization. Yes, an organization just like the five families in New York. So organized that they held general and executive formal type meetings at various locations. With general meetings held in South Philly with 40 to 60 attendees. Heavy security and executive meetings held in North Philly, Johnson Home Projects. And some members will be blindfolded while transported to executive meetings so the location could be kept a secret. When the sensitive topics came across, you would be ordered out the room. Yeah, that's some serious stuff. Ronald Harvey was once arrested for assaulting a police officer along with black mafia leader Samuel Christian. And we all know what can happen to a black man assaulting a police officer. And we're talking about the 60s. Sam Christian and Ron Harvey once walked in on a dice game ran by some serious cats in Philly. Even they stumbled over each other to give the money up. That reminds me of the Benny Siegel line when he said, My presence alone may cats pass cash off. That's a heavy reputation to have. For you to walk in a room not doing anything and a guy can reach in his pocket and give you his money. But they wasn't there for any smoke. They was only there to hang out. They was there to gamble. Ron Harvey was known to be flamboyant, a big spinner that kept several women in rotation. He was also married. Ron Harvey was known for flying around in the latest Cadillacs. Early June 20th, 1971, a man ran into a South Philly police station yelling, there's four guys around my house with guns. The guy returned home with two policemen and pointed out two guys that were standing on his step. As the cops approached, the man took off. One guy threw his gun under a parked car and the other fired five missed shots as they ran away. See, these other gangsters, they're not shooting at cops. These guys have picks. Ron Harvey had no picks. The four men were Eugene Baines, Ronald Woodruff, Samuel Christian, and Ron Harvey. They was there to extort the guy, which he was a numbers writer. By the mid-1970s, the Black Mafia controlled all the drug traffic in Philly. Everybody was paying tax. They even made Frank Matthews reorganize his Philadelphia operation. If you don't know who Frank Matthews was, you can look him up. He was a big kingpin out in Harlem. Ron Harvey and the Philly mob was a part of the Nation of Islam, along with Muhammad Ali, yes, the boxer. The Nation with Ali tried to recruit Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the NBA player, which he denied and refused to call Ali by his new name. He stated he would call him Cassius Clay or Cassius X, but he wouldn't call him Muhammad. He wouldn't call him the Prophet. And he said he was not Muslim. Kareem, Dota, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar donated a $78,000 house to Hamas Khalif, who was against the Nation of Islam. Khalif wrote a two-letter. Yeah, Khalif wrote two letters to 57 mosques denouncing a black Muslim and Elijah Muhammad, purposely misspelling his name and calling him a liar. In 1974, eight men led by Ronald Harvey took a trip to D.C. in two cars to Khalif home. On the way, they stopped in Maryland due to a blown hose on the car. They got it fixed with a stolen credit card, the same credit card that they used for gas. Yes, these gangsters are not spending their own money. They're going to spend your money. Khalif was not there, but everybody in the house got a piece of the action. Ron Harvey heard multiple cries and ordered two men to fill the bathtub with water. James Price questioned it. He was there for robbery, but not murder especially the innocent. But Ron Harvey warned Price and stated, 
The seed of a hypocrite is in them. I won't go into detail, but you guys can Google everything that happened. During the investigation, James Price confessed and was placed on witness protection and was moved to D.C. Yes, the same person that questioned Ron Harvey in the house decided to flip. James Price wasn't feeling what Ron Harvey told him to do, but he had to take orders. Ron Harvey had no picks. He didn't care about babies. He didn't care about females. He was there to get the job done. The seven others were indicted, and before a trial could start, Ron Harvey went on a run. Four out of eight men were all sentenced to 140 years in prison. Later, Ron Harvey was caught and sentenced. So that was basically the end of his run, the 60s and 70s. These other gangsters are not shooting at cops. These other gangsters, um, they have morals, you know, and, that, and that's good. I'm not glorifying anything. But if you want to say who's the most feared, you got to pick Ron Harvey at number one, Philly, you know. So there's, you know, there's not a lot of information out there on Ron Harvey. Um, people barely cover gangsters from Philly. So I just wanted to get that out there. So um, if you guys want to subscribe, you know, you know, you guys can hit the like button, subscribe. You know, I'm going to keep coming with these videos. You know, I'm going to try my best with the research, but um, I'm out, man. Thanks for watching.